Hi everyone, Laura from Nanny Parent Connection here. When you find a great nanny, you want to do everything you can to keep them. So here are my top 10 tips for how to keep your nanny. Tip number one, set the stage with a job description. You should be comprehensive in describing what it is your family is looking for, what you are looking for in a nanny, and what you are looking for in the job duties. Tip number two, make sure to offer a nanny industry standard compensation package. This will include items like guaranteed hours, paid time off, accrued paid sick time, paid holidays, and it could also include a medical stipend. By offering items like guaranteed hours, paid time off, and paid sick time, your nanny will be able to count on their income. They will also be able to take time to maintain good work-life balance and they'll be able to take time to rest and recuperate in the event that they get sick. Good employers who care about their nannies offer these benefits and they will go a long way to make your nanny feel well cared for and want to stay at their position. Tip number three, really think about who you will be as an employer. Will you maintain a positive work environment and be supportive and approachable as an employer? Nannies look for these characteristics in employers. They wanna work with someone who is mindful and treats them with respect. Tip number four, make sure to have a strong onboarding process. Remember, the nanny's first several weeks are the orientation period. Consider doing a home and neighborhood tour, offer ongoing support, and invite regular check-ins. It's also important to give feedback to your nanny and invite them to do the same for you. Make sure to set your nanny up for success. Allow them to ask questions and make sure they feel all of their questions have been answered. You may also want to consider putting together a nanny binder, which I highly recommend, which is one central place where you keep all important information about your family, such as emergency contacts, addresses of schools, emergency protocols, copy of the nanny contract, that sort of thing. If you're interested in learning more about what a nanny binder is, please check out this video where I will walk you through the process of setting one up. Tip number five, take some time to understand what their values are as an employee. This would include how they best communicate anything they feel they need for the role in order to be set up for success. This could look like a car seat for their car so they don't have to switch car seats daily. This could look like setting up a plan for expenditures so the nanny doesn't have to front the money and wait to be reimbursed. This could also be communication boundaries and having good work-life balance for example, no texting after 10 p.m. or on weekends. Maybe you email during certain hours if it's late or on a weekend in order to respect the nanny's time. Tip number six, take opportunities to reinforce positive beliefs and nurture the relationship. This could mean discussing a child's behavioral issues and providing support or any other problems that come up during the working relationship. A little reassurance and a positive outlook can really go a long way to help certain situations out. This could also be something simple, such as remembering to tell your nanny and possibly your child too to have a great day or it's going to be a great day before you head out the door. Tip number seven, make sure to provide ongoing support. What is working well? What might make the nanny's job easier or more enjoyable? This is a great way to discuss role expectations and how those roles can be carried out to maximize job satisfaction. Tip number eight, set realistic expectations. And if you're not sure, ask your nanny to weigh in. For example, your nanny isn't going to be able to tackle all of the household chores while the child is sleeping. They're going to need some time to rest and recuperate as well, perhaps take a lunch break so that they can feel recharged for the second half of the day. And if your nanny is participating in a nanny share for your family, there might not be enough time in the day for your nanny to tackle the baby's laundry, but rather only to handle daily tidying of the spaces used during the day. Tip number nine, make time for an annual review with your nanny. During this time, you'll want to make sure to address a cost of living raise or an annual raise with your nanny. Right now, inflation is on everyone's mind, of course, especially nannies. And I've seen many nannies actually leaving positions they've been at for a while in order to get a higher wage somewhere else. You can prevent that from happening by having a conversation with your nanny, recognizing that the cost of living, especially this year, has drastically gone up and offering a commensurate raise. And families, if you're not sure what an annual review might look like, please check out this video where I walk you through the process. Tip number 10, appreciate your nanny. We appreciate our nannies daily, of course. I know you all do, but 
make sure you show them and make them feel appreciated. This could be remembering their birthday and giving them a small gift. This could be knowing that Nanny Appreciation Week happens every year in September and celebrating them during that week. It all boils down to feeling valued. Make sure your nanny feels valued. And if you're still with me here through all of these tips, I have a bonus tip for you. Provide opportunities for your nanny to stay happy, healthy, and have growth in their career. This could look like providing a medical stipend for your nanny. This could also be giving them several mental health days each year so that they can maintain good work-life balance. This could be a gift to the Calm app, which is great for meditation and mindfulness. And of course, maintaining a positive work environment is very important. Something else you could consider is offering your nanny a professional development stipend. This could be used for your nanny to further their knowledge and understanding of a certain parenting philosophy, such as positive parenting, or perhaps you would love them to learn more about Montessori to help support your child's growing interests. This could even be courses in child development. I guarantee you this will make your nanny feel very valued will make them feel appreciated, and it will make them value you as an employer as well. All right, everyone, that is it for my top 10 tips on how to keep your nanny, plus my bonus tip. I hope you found this information helpful. If you like this video, please click the like button, ring the bell, subscribe so that you can be notified when more of these videos come out next time. Thanks, everyone. Bye.